your way. Sorry. Put my phone down here. Not you. There's like shatter. What are those? Just about hit her. What is go, dude? Throw over there. There's our back. And something's chasing those, dude. <laughs> this is nuts. You sh are you seeing all that? Yeah. If one jumps in the boat, I'm gonna freak out. Grab it. Bites at all. Look at it. Grab it. Grab it. Something has to be chasing him for him to do that. All right, let's hold up right here. All right, you want to post up right here? There's like shad jumping or there's like bluegill. Give me rods so you yeah. don't do that. Yeah. I was doing fine and then I forgot. Oh, you're fine. Here, I'll get it. Here, just reel it in. That's fine. Reel it in? Yeah, and I'll fix it later. Oh, All right. All right, guys, so me and Ehoff are out here today. It's our third time on the boat. This is Nihau's first time on the boat. Did you get something? Yep. Did you have something? It did. Alright, keep throwing over there. Looks like Nihau just had it. Do you still have something? You do? Oh my god. Whoa! Here, let me here, here. Oh my god. Give me the pole. Give me the pole. Give me the pole. What is that? Here we are, boys. <laughs> first time of the day. Woo! What is this thing? It's like a weird looking bass. No, that's what it's a striper, isn't it? No, the bass is like is a oh, look at it. It's like been eaten by a muskie. Like look at that. Look at its tail. Oh, you caught it right on top of the mouth. He actually ate it. I don't want to touch this fish, but Nihoff actually caught something. Looks like guys he's getting eaten by something. Um, I think he's there's muskie in here, so there might be muskie trying to eat this. Okay, everybody, as you can see, Nihoff caught the first bass in the boat and it was kind of like a zombie fish because his tail was like not again again I don't think where are they at like on the cove they're probably chasing all these shad that's what it is guys they're probably all these shad are jumping and what Nehoff did was he threw it right by the school of shad and as soon as that bait hit the water oh i just had a bite bait hit the water freaking that bass smacked it what do you think that I was like almost a two pounder and it was very light color too because you could see here, cause this water, you know, that's why it was so light. I thought that was a striped bass at first. What were you doing, just like letting, it, like letting it sit on the bottom? Honestly, as soon as I dropped it, it hit. I'm actually taking a different approach from Nehoff, cause he's actually hitting the bank. I got about a 10 to 12 foot jerk bait deep diver. It's gonna go. I'm gonna throw it out here, probably about 25 feet out here where I'm throwing it. So I'm just gonna keep throwing this in there and see if I can come across some striped bass, largemouth bass, possibly a muskie. I don't know. I don't think so. Um, I honestly don't think I do. Sorry. I left my box at my mom's. I got some curly tails and um, some whiteboard crankbaits. Sorry. Oh. Yes, guys, we finally did it. We finally caught a bass on the mini bass boat. I mean, that's why you don't give up. That is the third day I was out there on my mini bass boat. A total of nine hours, guys. Nine hours and to catch one fish. I didn't catch it, but I do not really care. As long as somebody catches a fish at that lake, just because... That lake, in my opinion, is so hard to fish. I just think it's outfished, and be honest, it's not like a real, I mean, it is a lake, but it's a flood reservoir, so that whole lake used to be a town, like, I don't know, 60, 80 years ago, correct me if I'm wrong, but, and I was talking to 
the people at the lake, they said they really don't stock it. And um, it's a flood reservoir again, and there's a dam on there. And it said, I don't know, one guy was telling me that it's so deep and there's moss everywhere and the sunlight doesn't get to the fish's eggs. And that's why the baby fish died just because the sunlight get to them, doesn't give them a chance to grow. And the fish keep getting eaten and it can't reproduce and all that. So I don't know, that lake is very, very hard to fish in my opinion. I mean, as you guys could tell, I mean, I've been out there with 10 times on a boat and I only caught seen somebody catch one fish. So I don't know. Maybe it's the day I go. If I went in the morning, I don't know. And honestly, that fish guys work looked very unhealthy. To me, it was skinny. And if you saw the tail, it looked like it was it was bleeding very, very bad. Something took a chunk out of it. I don't know if it was a muskie, a turtle, or it just smacked against a rock or something. But I don't know. Like the pond bass, I usually fish ponds and stuff, and those fish are darker green, fatter, healthier, and all that. That one just didn't look healthy and it kind of smelled really bad too. So I don't know what's happening to those fish. Hopefully they can get it handled because that lake is literally like five minutes from my house I mean, there's nothing better than having a big monster fish in like five minutes from your house and You can take that boat out there and when I do get a real bass boat I hope that lake is stocked very very well and it's just taken care of so that's about it for today's episode I'm just so excited that we caught a fish today Um, if you guys can do me a big big favor comment below and let me know what you think was wrong with that fish's tail And why is it unhealthy and also don't forget to hit that like button and hit that subscribe button and as always, catch big fish. Have a great day.